We have all faced a gaming problem, something that has caused a large amount of frustration for us. All we want is for someone to give us the advice we need to achieve greatness. I thought I would try my best to help you solve these problems and become the very best version of yourself. So I opened up a form for you to submit your gaming problems so Daddy Platbro can help you out. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Each like increases the likelihood of future gamers getting their problems completely solved by me. Alright, let's make this fast because I need a dump. What would you do if you're playing a game completely out of your comfort zone? and you got stuck on a level boss. Possibly over a hundred deaths. That's a lot of death, bro. I've been there though. Feel like jacking it in, but also just want to persist to get quite close to the platinum trophy. Um, it's always better to jack in than jack off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, as someone who struggled with very simple games and games that should not have made me struggle as much, I can relate to this one, all right? Platinum Agony, bro, and it's got your back here, all right? There's a couple of things you can do. Number one, give the fuck up. All right, you know, not everything's worth pursuing. Sometimes you got to say, no, I, I ain't doing this shit. I've, I've got better things and more important things to do with my time. I struggled a lot with Call of Duty. It took me 300 attempts to beat Mile High Club. Now, it's not necessarily a boss. It is a level. You've kind of got to take a step back and you've got to, you kindly got to think, right, why am I struggling so much? What is it that I can't do? When I get stuck on games, I like to think of it as when I did Crash, I got stuck, you know, 50, 60 times on some levels. And when I go into these hard levels, I think of the first hour or two as training. So rather than thinking, okay, I need to beat this game and I'm going to keep trying, keep trying, I keep getting stuck. I'm like, okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to spend two hours three hours training and learning the level so i'm not actually trying to beat the game at all i'm just trying to learn and learn and learn and i think if you think of it you know as as training it takes a bit of pressure off yourself and it allows you to get the training in, get the work in and then eventually you'll get there but you don't have to do it but i think that is the case just think of it like i'm training i'm training i'm gonna get there in the end i got this you know what? i'm an absolute chad i'm gonna do it you got this bro come on bomb chop i have faith in you bro you can do it Gregory Bean says he needs to know how to beat the hardest game ever. My name is Mayo too. Now this one is one hell of a mammoth. It is one hell of a task. It's perseverance is king in this one, you know. Warm your hands up first, you know, get them ready, loosey goosey, all right? And then after, you know, a couple of hours of serious grinding, take a break, go downstairs, get a bucket of ice, and just sink your hands in, because your hands are going to be so sore from the serious gaming that you've taken part on. And then let the ice just do its, do its magic, you know? the inflammation in your hands will just cease to exist and then you go again all right and you go again and you go again and you will overcome this motherfucker jake just says backlog now i'm going to be controversial here and say you don't need to beat your backlog now the backlog is kind of like this this unnecessary pressure that we put on ourselves we're like you know i bought this game i bought this game i've got this game in my backlog i've earned four trophies on this i need to do it you ain't gotta do shit bro just play the games you want to play and, you know, as long as you've got to come to terms with the fact that a backlog will just remain a backlog forever. I've got all them games down there. Daddy, chill. I have literally played about a third of those. When the time's right, the time will be right. And I will seize the day and I will take on that game. I will finally play Red Dead 2 and get the Platinum. I will finally play My Hero's Justice. But right now, I'm chill, all right? I'm going to just not put any external, unnecessary pressure on myself, especially when it comes to goddamn video games because that's what we're talking about we're talking about video games imagine you're getting stressed out about having too many games that is the most first world problem you're ever gonna have and it's not a bad problem to have six month ban of buying new games i mean your wallet's gonna thank you and if you really want to tackle that backlog that is the way to do it but don't be held back by something as trivial as a backlog because it ain't worth it man it ain't worth it don't do it don't do it at what point should I stop going for a platinum in a long game that is overwhelming me in terms of all content that needs to be done in order to obtain the platinum? Example, Witcher 3, Kingdoms Heart Games, and Red Dead 2. Well, as someone who stepped away from Red Dead 2, I can totally relate to that, 100%. This is a hard one because harder games, longer games, you do get a greater sense of achievement when you actually overcome them. So it's kind of like this balance of when when is enough. And there's something called the sunken cost fallacy, for those who didn't know, which is basically the more time you spend in something, the more likely you are to want to keep going and complete it. And I think that applies to gaming and platinum trophy hunting in particular more than anything really. You know, if you're 40% in the word platinum trophy, you are very, very committed to seeing it through regardless of how much you are hating it. I've played games in the past, you know, maybe 60 hours long. After 30 hours, I am so done with the game. But because of that sunken cost fallacy, I'm kind of like, I'm so close. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. I've come so far. I want to see it to the end. It is definitely a tough one. 
I would say when you're maybe like 10, 15 to 20 hours of not having fun, then maybe that's the time to step away because platinum trophies ain't worth it. They, they ain't worth it. I have to say that. Like, you know, I'm, it, I'm all for having a good time. I'm all for, you know, being like, I ah, platinum this game and this game and this game. But life is all about the journey. It's not about the end goal. Am I right? So if the journey fucking sucks, right, then the end you know you get a platinum you're like right okay thank god that's done now i can move on to the next one if you hated the journey then what was the point just to say you finished the game so i would say if you're feeling really bummed out if you're at the point where you're literally like dreading gaming because you have to then do some grind or do something you're not enjoying i'd say that's probably the chance to that's probably the time to stop i have felt that way in the past so many times and that's why i'm so specific with the games that i choose to play now because i'm like i know something costs fallacy i'm gonna get stuck in i'm gonna want to see through the bitter end so at least I'm going to pick a game that I think I am going to enjoy more than another one. And we have a burnout question. In fact, it was actually the very first one from Platinuming. Nice. I struggle to keep the motivation when down the last few grind... What? I struggle to keep the motivation when down the last few very grindy. Any motivation tips to power through? I am giving up and moving on to another game. I mean, if you're getting that close, that kind of is a problem, I would say. If you're getting to the final couple of trophies you've come so far at that point maybe it's a case of when you start a game looking at the trophy list and actually picking the worst trophies and, and identifying that they're the ones that are going to make you drop out and doing them first so for example if it's an open world game rather than finishing the whole story and all the side quests and leaving the collectibles to the end maybe you put the collectibles in the middle of the time you're playing the game or make sure like you allocate time to do the really grindy stuff in between so it's a 50 hour game and there's a 15 hour 20 hour grind at the end which is very common for games let's be real break it up say, the, say there's like 200 collectibles you do some collectibles now you do some collectibles after hour 10 some after hour 15 some after hour 20 and then by the time you're at the normal point of wanting to give up you only have a few easy trophies left so i would just say tackle the grindier trophies earlier than you normally would and you might be more inclined to get that plat. First world problem question for you, Plat Bro. The question I have for you is, I have some games on my trophy list I will never complete, and I'm wondering, should I start a new account before I get too deep and the completion percentage annoys me too much, or should I stick with what I've created so far? Um, I mean, I think you probably already know the answer to this question, because I think everyone knows asking this kind of question. I mean, I have been... And my trophy list is now six years old, and I've got an Xbox One dating back to 2007. I think we all change and I think every couple of years what you think is important won't be important in a couple of years time. So I would say is completion percentage really that important? Trophy lists show a journey, they show a collection of all the games you played. If you started a new account now you wouldn't have those 11 platinums right? Or you'd have to spend hundreds of hours getting them 11 platinums again. I am, I am on board and I'm more in favour of not deleting your accounts and starting new ones because I purely just think I, I used to have a 99 completion percentage list and i have a couple of games i can't beat and now my completion is like 98 percent and it's probably gonna drop i'm not gonna lie about it because i care less and less as i'm getting older about my completion percentage i've already said you know it's a journey not the end goal and the your trophy list just represents your end goal but it does represent the stories you've had the journey you've had and i wouldn't be happy with starting a new account now i did play with that idea a couple of years ago and pretty much when i you know when i was like three hundred platinums and i had like 200 grubs i was like i might start a new one but i'm like nah like, no, like, I don't care. I, I'm i happy with the, the games I've played. I'm happy with the journey. The stupid shit I've done in the past is part of me as a gamer, and I'm just going to embrace it. So that's my opinion. Do whatever the fuck you want. The Retro Den. My main problem is analysis paralysis for not being able to decide while looking at estimate times to platinum on a game. That is a tough one. I've been there. I tend, to hesitate, I tend to hesitate not because of the difficulty or number of playthroughs, but mostly due to the required time, which leads to me spending entire days without playing anything because I can't decide what to start. Ooh, that is a tough one. That's not a great situation to be in because you're obviously losing vital gaming time. You know, think how many trophies you could get on Minecraft in the time you spent waiting. I would just say, here's one for you. Pick a longer game, all right? Like a game that's like 100 hours, all right? That you, that you say to yourself, I'm going to platinum this this year. I'm going to spend a couple of hours, you know, a week and just work my way through it in the background of everything else I'm playing. One that's not too too challenging, maybe something like Skyrim, Fallout 4, something that's like pretty easy to jump in and out of. And then whenever you are struggling with this, you kind of jump into that game. So you're not wasting time. But what I would do is I'd maybe pick 
five six games and just put them in a random generator and just pick from there and then if you random generate it and you get the game and you, and you are devastated that that's the game you've been given that's a sign to take that game out and eventually you'll have a game we are in a world of you know analysis paralysis of like pro decision paralysis where we have so much on to offer and we have so little time especially as adults on what to play and it's kind of there's nothing worse than not being able to decide just i have that problem when it comes to netflix and films and movies with games they tend to be a bit more direct purely because i have youtube to help me you know decide on what i want to do and i'm thankful that i have that to steer me because i can completely relate to this one but i would just say yeah pick a longer game that you're going to play in the background so whenever you are suffering from this paralysis you can just jump back into that game and then maybe use a random generator to pick a couple games i also says what's your problem bro i have too many this video is going to be too long if i start stating my problems all right and i'll just make everyone depressed and i don't want to be responsible for that jack says what is your advice for when you play a, a game to and you get a trophy and it turns out to be a steaming piece of shit do you keep going you've been locked in you've got that singular trophy what do you do i mean that's a tough one i ain't gonna lie that is a tough one i would say first you've got to do your research first but it's nothing wrong with just walking away man the bigger man always walks away right i mean what's more impressive all right someone did a hundred hour trophy someone did a hundred hour platinum on a game they fucking hated and then they continue to tell you how much they hated it for weeks and weeks and weeks. So someone who went, I played it, it was dump, and I left it and I moved on to something I enjoyed more. I'd say the man who walks away is actually the bigger man. So, you know, that applies to many aspects. Not just gaming. Probably. Volboy Steve says he left his fun toys at his last sleepover. How does how does he get over this monumental loss? I would journal. Steve, I think you've really got to get your feelings out there to get over this because it, it is tough and it also begs the question where did you lose them did you lose them under the bed or did you lose them in somebody because they are both two situations which are difficult to navigate and they require different steps to navigate um i would probably say just flee the country change your name get a new psn id and then play skyrim that's what i'd say steve huge ass says i often feel that i really need the toilet for a wee but when i go only a little bit comes out is this something the plat bro has had experience with and can I offer some advice? Well, you know, as we all age, we often find that it is harder to empty the tank. You know, you go there, you have a little bit of a squeeze and just nothing, nothing's really, really coming out, just a little bit of air. I would just say, learn to control your bladder, which has come from someone who has to pee th every 30 minutes on a stream. Just keep it in, all right? Let the pressure build. And then when you get to the toilet, it will be like a hose and just, all right? So just don't go to the way, don't go to the toilet as much as you think you need to go. Give it 20 minutes at least before you need to go for it to empty the tank. And there are the questions I've answered. I hope I have solved everybody's gaming problems and non-related game problems, apparently. Um, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video because I enjoy doing it, to be fair. So if you like this video, you'd like to see more of them. Let's get the video to 500 likes. And if you want to comment your questions, your problems, I will put a link to the form sheet down below where you can submit your problems and I will give you some advice. That's it. Do you fold your toilet paper or do you just make a ball of it when you wipe? I'm an animal. I just scrunch and go, bro. Scrunch and go.